What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike and I'm back at it again with another video and today is January 3rd of 2023 and the very first trading day of 2023. This is the first day that you can go onto the stock market in 2023 and go and buy some stocks to overall start your investment journey in 2023. Now this is a major question that I always get asked consistently ever since I've been making these investment videos is where do I start investing? How much money do I invest? What do I need to invest into? And overall at this point, everyone should really gets the same answer. The average person is okay by investing into one simple thing, and I'm gonna explain all that in today's video. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Overall, investing your money into the stock market involves risk, or pretty much any investment for that matter. Any investment that you make where you're trying to make money from is probably gonna involve a little bit of risk on your end, and there's no difference in the stock market. So we can see that over the past year, the stock market was down about 20% on the year. So that means if you invested about $100 into the stock market in January of 2022, then you would come out at the end of the year of 2022 with about $80 invested overall. But at the end of the day, investing is not something, it's not a short-term game, it's not a get-rich-quick type of scheme. It is a long-term thing that you should do for the long-term. And when I say long-term, I mean 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years plus to overall find gains and success in the stock market. Typically, when people just randomly go out and buy stocks, they might find success, they might not, they might have learned something, they might have not. But overall, if you can consistently invest for the long term, then you will typically find success in the stock market. But that comes down to what you're actually invested into. So people would ask me the same question. What should I invest into? So people that's just starting out or trying to start out investing would always ask this basic question. What do I invest my money into? Do I go and buy 20 shares of Apple stock, Tesla, Google, Amazon, Microsoft? What do I go and buy? Do I go and buy Exxon because gas prices are still a little bit high? Do I go and buy McCormick? What do I buy? What you would want to do is simply invest into an index fund. That index fund is simply one single stock and that one single stock contains tons of different stocks pulled all together into that one single stock. So essentially, you can look at an index fund like ticker symbol VOO. This is for the Vanguard S&P 500 fund. So you would simply be investing into 500 separate companies all put into one single stock, one investment that you can make on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. And I'm actually gonna do that today and pretty much start an overall investing challenge today with you as well. Over the last 20 years, only about 6% of people actually beat the stock market. And that 6% of people might have went to school, might have dedicated their entire lives to finance and investing and stuff like that to learn. They might have just dived into it at a young age and overall been riding the wave and started losing before they started winning, or they just got lucky. 6% of people beat the stock market over the past 20 years. So that means the other 94% of people didn't. That means the other 94% of people lost out and lost money in the stock market over the past 20 years. So the best investment to overall make is to not try to beat the stock market, not try to pick particular stocks that you think might do well or overall just be a stock picker versus just investing into an overall index fund so you're being invested into the overall market as time goes on. That's exactly what you wanna do. It is the most boring thing to do because you don't really have to do anything. You can just buy one simple fund and consistently invest into that fund every single year, month, week, or day, completely up to you, and go about your life. It's that simple and that's probably one of the best bets to place versus trying to place random bets on random stocks that you know nothing about, that you're not willing to put in the research for, that you're not willing to sit and listen to earnings calls about, anything like that. For the average person that doesn't want to do any of that, that just wants to be invested and make money in the long term, is to generally just buy an index fund and stay invested in that index fund for the long term. Statistics have backed this claim time and time again, so it's no point in you trying to try, just like it's no point in me trying to try to beat the market on a consistent basis every single year. Now, may you get lucky and beat the market one year? Absolutely, I did it two years ago. Did I do it last year? Absolutely not. It, can I try next year or this year, 2023? Of course I can, but overall, for the long term, over the next 20, 30, 50 years, is that the best bet for me to make? Probably not. The best thing for me to probably do is to invest in an overall index fund that tracks the market so I don't have to worry about it and I'm still invested into the market to make money in the long term. And statistics have also proven if you simply have your money invested over a 20 year period, you have a 100% chance of making money as long as you simply invest into the overall market. Yes, a guaranteed pretty much chance based on all the history of the stock market as long as you invest over a 20 year period. So that means 
if you start today and you keep that money in there and consistently invest today all the way up for 20 years you will have a 100 percent chance of making money now how much money that might be i don't know nobody knows but we'll never know because that's just not how life works but one thing i do know is that that is a guaranteed way and that's what history has shown us now history does not always lead to future results but that's all we can really base everything off of because we don't know what's going to happen in the future things might be you know excellent for the next 50 years or they might be horrible have no idea but i'd rather overall bet in the overall market than taking a chance with random stocks that i don't really know much about or simply just don't want to put the time and research and energy into finding more about it so what is this overall index fund that i keep on blabbing about the index fund i'm talking about in today's video as i mentioned earlier is ticker symbol voo which stands for the vanguard s p 500 etf and that like I said before, that pretty much combines 500 different companies, 500 of the top companies in the United States all into one single stock. So you only have to buy this one stock to be invested into 500 of the best companies in the United States, which of course gets rebalanced as time goes on. If a company's performance worse, they get kicked out of the S&P 500 and new companies that come up to do well, they get put into the S&P 500. For this investing challenge, I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to start by investing $5 every single day yes five dollars is going to go into the s p 500 the ticker symbol voo that i just mentioned every single day this entire year no matter what we're going to come back at the end of the year and we're going to see what the money is looking like but overall when you invest like this you are doing something known as dollar cost averaging dollar cost averaging is pretty much buying whatever the price is whenever the price is so you're not trying to time the market if you see the market is going down like crazy one day and you want to think you think it's the right time to get in or you think it's the wrong time to get in it doesn't matter because we're buying regardless if the stock price shoots up we're buying regardless every single day five dollars every single day no matter what we'll see what happens at the end of the year but that is it there are other index funds that you can also invest your money into like ticker symbol vti which covers the global stock market so you don't want to just invest into u.s stocks if you want to invest into the u.s the uk japan uh everything else like that um it's pretty much all in one single stock and that's known as ticker symbol vti on your trading platforms personally i use Robinhood to go ahead and make this trade and do the recurring investment the setup and everything like that and you can do the exact same thing if you want to sign up with Robinhood, you'll get a free stock it'll be linked down below you don't have to use robin hood by any means i simply use it because it's really easy to show you guys the platform it's really easy to show you guys how to overall invest if you're just trying to get started investing and don't know what to do now last question is how much money should you overall invest Right now, my account is sitting at about $38,000. I have investments separated across different portfolios for different reasons. Now, overall, you should only invest what you're willing to lose. So that means you do not want to put money in here that you need to pay your bills. You do not want to put money in here that you might need for your emergency funds or your savings. This is simply something separate. And you don't really want to focus on investing if you don't have some things taken care of, like high interest debt, high interest debt like credit cards or any other loans that you might have that might be high interest. I would definitely focus on that first and then focus on investing. If you can do both at the same time, that's great. But overall, I would take care of your debt first before you start investing, especially when it's high interest debt. So either way, only invest what you are willing to lose. You don't want this to be a worrisome type of thing. You want simply to put the money in, set it, and forget it. Do this either on a one lump sum basis, maybe monthly, maybe weekly, maybe daily like I'm doing. Personally, up to you. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just start today because it's one of the best days to start. You're going to thank yourself later in the future when you see your portfolio grow in value over time. And like I said before, over a 20-year period, no one's ever lost money as long as they were invested into the overall market. Things may change, but I think they'll stay probably the same for the next 20 years to go forward. So that's all I really got. That's all we want to bring to your attention today. I've been dollar cost averaging into not only the overall market, but other stocks as well. I do dividend and portfolio update videos as well every single month. I just released one about a day ago. So make sure you check that out to see what other stocks I'm invested into besides overall buying the entire market. And that's pretty much that. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Get started investing. It's one of the best decisions that you can possibly make in your life and your overall investing into yourself. You can do whatever you want to do with this money. That's up to you. Either way, I'm out. Take care of yourselves. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Dollar Mike. Peace.